So you were serious. Yep. We are actually taping a meat video right now. We're taping a meat video for the La Abuelita La Chorizo. La Abuelita means little grandmother chorizo. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So people say all the time, like, you guys do product reviews on snacks do and packaged meats. items. We found a meat. Here's the meat. Got these at Costco, because we were looking for some meat, like, what are we gonna do on our beef, bacon, butter, and eggs challenge? All right. And we're like, let's see what different things are in the meat count, and I found this. So these are La Abuelita. Ablu I'm, I can't, I'm not good at that. Chorizos, Rachel loves chorizos. I love chorizo. Problem is a lot of times chorizo has a bunch of sugar in it. A lot of garbage. These are actually pre-cooked. Like we like to get the ones in the grocery store, they come in a little package. And so I said, why not try these? I love chorizo it, because it's very fatty. It's usually deliciously greasy. Mm. And now this one isn't going to turn my entire hand red. Yeah, we have that like one that we get. Like some of the ones. You ready? Dink it. Dink. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Really good flavor. It is very fatty inside. Like it's not on the outside, but it's in the inside. There is a sourness to this that I really, really love too. Like very vinegary. These mm. are going to be really good on our road trip. Mmm. Should we do five things? Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on your social label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? I'm so happy right How now. How come I always have to do number one and you get to keep eating? And I have to like swallow my food and can't enjoy it. Part of our marriage vows. Okay, so number one, the ingredients. Pork. Beef hearts. Oh, wait, actually, it's pork and then beef and then pork hearts. I was not aware there was hearts. Salt, water, paprika, spices, lactic acid, a starter culture. Does have some dextrose in it. Okay. Uh, garlic powder, sodium erythrobate, sodium nitrate, BHA, BHT, and citric acid. Okay. Uh, it's got a little bit of dextrose, but usually any kind of cured meat does have a little bit of sugar with it. I'm okay with that. Honestly. Even Dr. Barry said, if your bacon's got a little bit of sugar, you're good. Go ahead and eat it anyway. Way better ingredients than some of the other chorizo sausages I've had. Especially when you just get the chorizo meat and you want to make something yourself. It's That's like, usually loaded with like six there? or seven carbs of right. sugar. And talk about coloring. Number two, does it keto based on a nutritional label? Okay, so... Don't go by link. You're assuming that a serving size is one link because who's not eating an entire link? But it's by ounces. So one serving size is one ounce. They're saying that there is 40 servings in this bag, but there are not 40 sausages in this bag. A link is about three ounces. So yeah. it's really every link is three servings. But it sounds scary when you go by the link and you know, right here with an ounce, it's 120 calories per serving. Yeah. Chorizo is usually very fatty. Right. So when you say, well, it's three ounces in a link, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like almost 400 calories. Yeah, 360 calories, but that's about normal. 10 grams of fat in mm -hmm. an ounce, six grams of protein, zero total carbs. That's it. So here's what I'm going to say. Every link is probably, if you want to weigh it out, mm -hmm. it's going to be different for each one. But right. I'm going to say on average, you're probably looking at about three ounces for a link, which would mm -hmm. be about 360 calories for a link, 30 grams of fat, six of that 18 grams of protein they're saying zero carb i'm going to tell you round up you're going to probably be looking at one to one and a half carbs per serving because totally it, it does have a little bit of dextrose 
it could have 0.8 carbs per ounce or it could have 0.1 carbs. So I always say round up. Worst thing is at the end of the day, you had less carbs than you thought you did. Wow. So number three. How does it taste? So These good. are good. They're nice and salty. They're nice and vinegary. They're nice and fatty, but not fatty where it's all over your hand. Like the fat is in the taste. Yeah, usually I'm it's, wearing it's it. It's usually you can squeeze these things and the fat just pours yeah. out and anything you touch is permanently ruined. Yeah. Not the case with these. These are very, really... Very nice. I mean, look at the back. There's nothing gross like rolling around, yeah. you know, as like coloring or anything. You're ready for the best one? I... Well, wait. Before you tell me how much it costs, I also want to add... This is what I want to see on a charcuterie board. Yes. Because when you have some of those like weaker cheeses, like provolone, working to do its best, but not like a power punch flavor, matched up with this, it's awesome. You know what it would go really good with? What? Swiss cheese. No. Anything yeah. but Swiss. Okay. Number four. How much did they cost? Here's the best part. How much? That whole bag was 10 bucks. Honestly, that is super it's ridiculously cheap. Because cheap. I will pay two or three dollars sometimes for the crap ones yeah like the ones that's got like red all over stain the bag i did not have high hopes when i saw the price but now we've been waiting three days to taste these yes i will be going back to costco Worth tomorrow and getting more because i don't even know where where's the date what's the date on that good till november 29th Okay, so I can stick them in the freezer, but I guarantee you that bag's not last until that November. Is, now, where I'm, did you get this? Costco, which is, you know, here today to gone tomorrow, you know? Get so, it while the getting get good. Get it while the getting is good. Yeah. Number five, would we recommend it? Absolutely. Yes, run, don't walk to your local Costco. Go get these. If you like to have a, if you're a meat stick person, like I can't wait to let Anthony try these. If you're a meat stick person, a meat stick you're gonna steroids. love these. If you like sausage, especially dried cured sausage, you're gonna love these. If you like chorizo, you're gonna love these. Yeah, I mean, if you're somebody that during the holidays likes the meat logs and stuff, like this, you know, just the circles of meat, this is way better yeah. than some of the summer sausages that I've tasted. Now, I am gonna say, we're gonna keep telling you you're gonna love these, but taste is subjective. Yeah. So if you don't love them, please don't yell at me. And it <laughs> is, it's hard, it's not soft. Yeah. So it it's, is it's chewy. It's a cured meat. Yeah. Yeah. So that is gonna be today's video. Let us know down in the comment section, have you tried these? Also, let us know what other kinds of cured sausage meats do you like? Because I would love to find more because we are cured meat people. We do yeah. love different types of sausage. And Oktoberfest is coming. That's right. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we taste something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.